Just starting this machine, you can show that, you know, this cinematic control is being loaded. And tell them that yeah. PMC machine also we will show. This is also loading right now. And we will show you the movements of the X, Y, Z and also the fourth and fifth axis. So we'll show the movements of all the axes in this machine, both CNC turning and BMC milling, which is of five axes. So the five axis basically, this obviously moves in just three axes, but this is the extra rotation arm. This is an attachment, you know, a very expensive attachment. And uh, we will show the rotation of this also. Yeah. yeah. So how much time does it take to usually start? Okay, it started already. Yeah, it is uh, It is taking up uh, two minutes maximum. Okay. So once we start the machine, the first thing we are going to do is release the emergency. Okay. So now the machine is all set. So basic thing what we have to do after starting the machine is referencing. Okay. So referencing here we have different operating modes. So you can see jog, reference point, MDA, MPG simulation, auto, SBK. So, we will let you know about all this. Okay. So, first thing we have to do is referencing. So, what referencing does is, so the, this is the coordinate, machine coordinates, now exact coordinates of the machine tool. So, we have to send it to the home position. We have to send the tool to the home position because there should be no error okay. while movement. Okay. So, the first thing we are going to do is referencing. So, feed start, referencing. First, we are going to move Z axis. So you it's can see there. it became zero. Zero. So next, in X axis, we are moving it. So it is. So now this is zero. zero according to the machine. So it's showing zero, yeah. zero, zero. That is machine coordinates. That is machine system. coordinates. Yes, yeah. Exactly. Okay. So this is about the referencing. And okay. what about jog is? Hmm. Jog is the one option which gives us the movements, movements yeah. using soft keys. So this does not have that kind of yeah. a manual uh, job. No. This has fixed in this. Yeah, yeah. Actually we have the end wheel here. Okay. So here also it is possible. But first thing what the distance is more means yeah. we are going to make use of the jog because it is a swift movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we need not worry about the like uh, tool uh, crashing to the yeah. workplace or like that. So, when there is a safety distance, we are going to use jog. jog and when it is coming near, no. So, you can see now, we can make use of this hand wheel. This is called as hand wheel. So, you can see. Okay. So, we can, can make the movements. That? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. So, so also in this, we have We can this, increase the... Yeah. This option. is by 100. Yeah. This is 100 so microns. This is going to be very slow. Yeah. Very yeah. slow and medium. Medium. So, you this can see. very slow. Yeah, yeah. Very, very slowly. So, as soon as the tool approaches, we can move this like this. Yeah. In a higher feed. As soon as the tool approaches. Then we can go lower. So, we can go lower. Lower. Exactly. So, this is how we operate. This operating modes is used. Okay. So, next. The next thing is. So, we have the MDA option here. So, MDA is nothing but manual data address. Okay. So, in manual data address, what we will do? So, we can't write a program for single line. Yeah. So, single actions. So, like that, mm -hmm. uh, we can make use of uh, MDI in that time. So, we have G75. So, this is... This is the code that is yeah, being written. In. This is a G code. Yeah. So, G75 in Siemens, uh, it is termed as uh, the tool home position. So, in like different, different uh, uh, like uh, panels, they have different meanings of those codes. Fano exactly. G75 is different than different. Siemens G75. Exactly. Okay. So, before starting the class, we are going to teach you about the G codes. What are the G codes? The theory and you will also codes. teach. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, the theory part is uh, the first thing. So, after that, here, now we I have G75 and X, X0, Z0. Okay. This code is written. So, now, I am going to initiate it. So, it is, you can see the tool moving to home positions. Yeah. So, this is the single line actions. So, for example, if you want to change the tool, you can see now the active tool is threading tool. You yeah. can, in HMI, what we can see is the threading tool is active. It's also active threading that, yeah, tool, symbol. feed and speed. So, threading tool is active, but I want to change it to the so uh, roughing, roughing right. or finishing tool. So, we have the numbers over here. You can see the numbers. So, tool numbers. So, these tool numbers, I will make use of it. So, four. Okay. Four. The it number. Will, it will change. Because yeah. Tool number four is we can write the program for that. So M06. This is a tool change code. So tool change at home position. Okay. 
So, M0 so this can change without that hydraulic uh, pressure also, like that pneumatic like pressure. We have hydraulic tank for this. Okay. Okay. No need of uh, pneumatic the pressure. pressure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. You can see that. Okay. So we are making use of some M codes. So see. Can you move that again? Exactly. Okay. So this is a we make use of the M okay. codes and G codes. Okay. So this is MD this is about MDM mode. We got to know about jog and MPG jog MDM and mode. Okay. So what happens next is hmm. so we have to run the main program. Yeah. So for that we are going to start auto. with auto. Okay. Auto mode. Uh, we are going to start the actual program here. Okay. So we have to do the initial settings for yeah, that. Yeah, obviously. We will need to set the coordinates for that. Yeah. So this is a about the okay. training part. 